Hello and welcome back. Now one of the questions that I get asked time and time again is about charge leads. So in this video, let's go through exactly what you need and how you can make your own charge lead for your small LiPo batteries. Now with batteries like this, where we have two separate cables, there are two options for charging. We can either charge with separate power and balance leads going to our charger, or we are quite able to charge directly through the balance plug. Now the battery on our right hand side here is another very common one that you will see around a lot and that just has the single balance and power lead all in one and that is a PH 2.0 3 pin. You are going to be charging with your two separate leads you're going to need a charge cable something like this. On our left hand side here we have our charger side and on our right hand side we have our battery side. Our battery side is made up of a 3-pin XH2.54 for the balance connector and a PH2.0 for the power lead. Now that power lead is running directly over to our uh, banana plugs here. Now that is going to depend on what your charger uses. It might use banana plugs, it might use perhaps an XT60. Um, and then we have our balance plug here. Now this is a seven pin, some chargers might only Four use a pin, um, but those okay. basically run directly to each other. Now the second option we have is to charge directly through our three pin plugs. And for that, we're gonna be using a charge cable, something like this. So if we go back and take a quick look at our battery plug, we can see that we've got our positive and our negatives on the outside of our battery plug. Now, when we go over to our charge lead, that is gonna be exactly the same. Now we then come down to the charger end. Now this does look slightly confusing, but when we break it down, it really isn't. So the basics of it is, is that we need our three balance leads to end up on our battery plug. So what I find with the battery plugs being so small and having to get so much soldered to them is the easiest thing to do is rather than taking our balance uh, positive and negatives down to our battery plug is to actually just take them to the charger side and solder them to those points there. And then all we need to do is take our central balance wire and take that down to our battery plug. And here we have a quick diagram just to make things a little clearer. So what do we need to make our charge cable? Well, our power leads to start with. This is 14 gauge. You can probably get away with 18 gauge quite happily. Uh, we have then got our balance lead. This is a seven pin. Uh, you will just need to check your charger what it takes, whether it's a seven or a five. Um, I've got some braid here. Um, we can use that um, just to tidy up the cables um, and to keep them nice and neat. Um, and then I've got a couple of different sizes of heat shrink. Those are just gonna go on our ends um, to cover our terminals on our plugs. Um, and then obviously, lastly, our, our plugs. Uh, I've got an XT60 here, which goes into my SkyRC uh, Neo charger. And you can see there the balance port. And then I have got my XH 2.54 to go onto my balance or charge plug, uh, charge plug on the battery. So first things first, let's cut our balance lead down to roughly the same length as our power cable. Now make sure you cut off the correct end. So because we are only gonna need the first three of our wires, we can remove the rest of them. To do that, just find something small and pokey and press down on the top of each of the four remaining contacts, pressing the little things down, and then you can simply remove them from the plug. Now for the purposes of this video, I've actually reused the red and the yellow. Uh, it just makes life a little easier for you guys to follow along. Now, if you do want to reuse any of the wires like I have done, all you're gonna need to do is just raise up the tab uh, that you push down, just using a scalpel blade, and then it should be good to be able to push back into the plug and hold itself in place. So next up, let's prepare the ends of our power leads by trimming back the insulation. Then in preparation to be soldered, we can tin the ends. 
Now with some heat shrink tubing on the wires and checking the polarity of the plug, we can solder our wires directly to it. So now we have our charger plug soldered to our power leads. We can turn our hand to our balance lead again. We are gonna take our positive and our negative and we're gonna cut those approximately 10 centimeters long and then just strip the ends back. You can then prepare the ends by tinning them. So then it is just a matter of sliding the wires through the heat shrink uh, before soldering them to either terminal and then sliding the heat shrink over to finish up. So now is the point where we can use our braided sleeve to tidy all the wires up. We can just slide it over the three wires and then secure in place either end with some more heat shrink. For the purposes of this video, um, so that you can see the wires clearly, I will leave it off. So now it is time to move on to the battery terminal. So here we have our battery plug and we are going to need to solder our wires to it. Now, the problem is with these plugs is if you put too much heat into the pins, they do tend to melt the surrounding plastic. So the easiest thing to do is to pull the pins out, solder them to the wires and then replace them. The pins come out very easily just with a pair of pliers. With the pins removed and held in a pair of pliers, we can simply solder them in place. And once you have the pins soldered back on, just a small amount of heat shrink to cover the ends before reinserting into the plug. Now there we go, the pins back installed. Now just make sure that you get the polarities around the correct way for your battery. If you're at all unsure, just use a voltmeter and pop it on the two outside terminals and establish which is the positive and negative. And there we have it, one charge lead ready to go. There you go, a couple of options on charge leads for charging your small LiPo batteries. Well that's it from me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. But otherwise, I'll see you soon.